began in Terrell with the shooting death of Officer Candinoza. The 28-year-old Marine veteran had just started with the department last summer. We've got team coverage in Terrell. Our Steve Pickett spent the day learning more about the officer who would have turned 29 on Saturday. But we start with Andrea Lucia. She's outside the Super 8 motel where the deadly shooting unfolded. Andrea, what can you tell us? Yeah, this all started with a traffic stop right about here. We're not sure what prompted that stop, but a guest staying at the Super 8 Motel says she saw uh, the patrol car pull in behind a truck here. She says it all seemed fairly normal. There was no yelling she heard, no commotion she saw. It wasn't until a few minutes later she realized they were still parked there. And she says she looked over just in time to see the flash of a gun. What did it sound like? Like pop, 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 and then I've seen the cop hit the ground because I just watched the flashlight go down and I watched the man get in his truck and turn around in a circle and then leave back out that way. Like, okay, we just get hit. The bad guy just got away. Bad guy got away. Jennifer Scoopian says she and another motel guest called 911. A third ran to check on the officer and used his radio to communicate with dispatch. Terrell PD says Officer Jacob Candinoza had called for backup moments earlier, so police were already on their way. For hours overnight, they searched for the gunman, banging on doors and stopping cars on the highway. At around 5.30 this morning, they arrested Darian Cortez Johnson. It is not clear why Johnson, who lives in Mississippi, was here. He is a 25-year-old college graduate with a business degree who doesn't seem to have a criminal record beyond a couple traffic tickets. Well, Johnson is now in the Kaufman County Jail charged with capital murder. If convicted, he faces the death penalty. In Terrell, Andrea Lucia, CBS News, Texas.